Hello and welcome to Omega Physio Tips. It's me Zahur Mehi, the physical therapist student. And uh, today we are going to discuss how this therapeutic laser is working. Uh, we have the different types of lasers at present era. There are some lasers which are used for surgical, uh, like surgical lasers, for the treatment of piles, for treatment of hemorrhoids. And there are some lasers which are used for the hair removal and for the cosmetic purposes. But this grade 3 laser is a therapeutic laser and it's used for pain relief, for wound healing and in order to reduce the inflammation. So this laser is used in the physiotherapy department for, thera uh, for therapeutic purposes. Uh, laser therapy is more effective than the ordinary physiotherapy. We are practicing this laser therapy, grade 3 laser, from last one year and we have seen drastic change in the patients. The other therapeutic modalities like ultrasound and IFT, rather I would like to say on my personal experience that this laser is much more effective than the other modalities. The laser beams, actually we were having one patient, he was having a very close swing and he has taken the treatment from multiple centers but he all, all the time he was regulated. What happened? He came here for the treatment and he took the seven sessions of laser. And believe me, in seven days, he was having a lot of pads over the ankle. In seven days itself, that all the black pads, they were gone and he went from here very happy. From last one year, we are experiencing a good result from the patients. And we have the thousands of happy clients, we have the thousands of happy patients with the help of this laser therapy. And this laser therapy is non-invasive, it means that it does not feel any, we do not have to do any surgery or any cut and it's painless and it's cost effective and it's a quick treatment. It, it does not delay the treatment time. It's the first type of treatment, and in this treatment, we can give this treat, this, we can give this type of treatment to any sort of patient. For example, the other modalities like ultrasound, IFT, TENS, we cannot apply it for the open wounds. Or in case there is the metallic implant, we cannot use those modalities to relieve the pain. But this laser, there is no direct connection between the body and the laser. What happens on the laser beams? They are going deep into the tissues. So we can use these modalities in case of open wounds also, in case of metallic implants also. And apart from this, the person who is having the bad sores are open wounds, chronic open wounds. This laser is very effective for them. So we have many programs in this laser. And by these programs, we are applying, we are supplying a particular dosage for a particular condition. Because it's, uh, we, we are sometimes thinking that uh, this laser is having a lot of side effects. But this grade 3 laser, it do not have side effects because we are giving the dosage, in, uh, we are giving the calculated dosage. Uh, we have two types of treatment methods in the laser therapy. One is the scan method. One is a probe method. You can see on the screen of the laser and you can see that I can see. For example, in case of scan method, what we will do, valid indications are given here. So now let's talk what are indications we can, it can be treated. It can be treated for head, neck, body, shoulder, hand, spine, hip, knee, foot. So there are many, many conditions. For example, if you are going to see here, there is a TMJ, temporal mandibular pain, there is the valve palsy, cervical spondylosis, there is cervical disc prolapse, there is myofascial pain, also in the neck, you can see in case of rheumatoid arthritis, in case of veins ulcer, in case of pressure source, what we also called as the bed source, in case of diabetic neuropathies, tra trapezius pain, and we can use this for fibromyalgia syndrome, adhesocapsulites, what we called as the frozen shoulder, in case of the rotator cuff injuries, glenohumeral joints, what we call the shoulder joint also, biceps, 
biceps humeri and this is the conditions of the biceps muscle in hind we have the carpal tunnel syndrome we have fingers we have the epicondylitis epicondylitis lateral which means the tense elbow and we have epicondylitis medial which is what we called as the golfers elbow. we can treat the intercostal neuralgia which means when you have the pain in the ribs in case of the failed back syndrome lumbar spondylosis lumbar disc prolapse it's used in case of the osteoarthritis of hip in case of piriformis syndrome and if there is the osteoarthritis of the knee joint or the humeroradial joint it's used in case of any ligament injury like there is the knee ligamentous patellar tendon injuries or it can also be used in case of plantar fasciitis which means there is inflammation in the fascia of the foot it can be used in case of calcaneal spur or ankle injury and it's also used in case of diabetic foot apart from this this laser it can be used for the ulcers wound ulcers and which is, which are superficial ulcers and they can be treated by this laser so we have two types of treatment methods one is what we call the scanning method another one is what we call as the probe method you can see in case of this what we call the probe it can be used it when we are going to treat a small area or a pinpoint pain but this scan in by this what's going to happen we are going to send the laser for a large part and it can treat the large area with the help of scanning method but while doing this in particularly in case of scanning method the patient should not directly look at the laser beams and the patient as well as the therapist so they both should wear the goggles and these goggles are going to protect us against these laser beams apart from this this laser should not be used in case the person in case of the pregnant woman in case of epilepsy or in case of tumors or in cancers so let's demonstrate here we have the patient with the carpal tunnel syndrome you can see right now we are sending the laser beams in his wrist area what we call as the carpal area here actually we have the three types of the things over here three types of conditions acute sub acute and chronic conditions so depending upon the patient condition whether the condition is acute sub acute or chronic it means that the patient is recent or it's like a very old pain depending upon that we have the dosage values as well so what happens we will give the dosage according to the patient uh, according to the condition of the patient and here you can see there is no direct contact between the laser laser scanner laser head and the patient's body it's that is the reason we can use this laser in case of open wounds in case of ulcers in case of any condition even if the patient is unconscious patient is uncooperative because he will not feel anything just the laser beams they are going to penetrate deep into the tissues we can treat a variety of conditions by this laser but the major conditions which cannot be treated by any other electrical modalities that's the diabetic foot that's the pressure sores or what we call as the ulcers and these and very coarse beams for these conditions i think the laser is the only treatment the laser is the only non invasive solution non surgical treatment uh, if you are located in the bangalore and then do visit our clinic which is located in the madex hospital in the botigiri in uh, banargata road and uh, you can if you want to book your appointment is our contact number is in the description box you can book your appointment from that con by contacting that uh, number and uh, apart from this please share subscribe our channel thank you very much